Hi, this is Lily. Welcome to Edging Life. The conditioned niceties of girls. This concept is a major problem in our society. The makeup of personality, so to speak. And I don't mean via genetics, I mean like makeup of personality. Girls are taught from a very young age to be so nice and have manners and hold the door and say thank you, say you're sorry, share, all these different concepts that don't promote the focus on self and on what matters to her. It's all about pleasing and caretaking other. And then we wonder why people become anorectic or bulimic or highly anxious or borderline or bipolar or an addict or an alcoholic or blah, blah, blah. I mean, men and boys have their own set of issues, which I'll address in another segment. But the amount of conditioning on girls to put the feelings of others first. I mean, is is causes so many problems. If a kid doesn't want to hold the door open because she's enjoying her ice cream, don't make her hold the door open. If someone else's feelings got hurt, but she was putting herself first because she wanted to keep that toy, don't make her share. You can teach them concepts. You can do whatever you want, first of all, but I suggest you can teach the girls concepts of how to be in the world, as well as teaching them balance, such that ultimately they have a choice. Not only do they have a choice, you're not shutting them down and controlling them in that particular instance. You're giving them a space for authenticity to show up and for them to shape and construct who they are in the world. If they want to hold the door open while they're enjoying their ice cream, if they want to share, you know, encouraging these young girls to develop who they are, who they want to be, what their internal thoughts are, how that matches with the outside world or doesn't, depending on what they want on a particular day. These are tools for life. You're teaching them how to think, how to be, how to talk. You're not forcing them what to say, what to do, what to think. There is quite a difference. You're modeling the broad strokes. You're not getting in there fine tuning everything. I mean, give them some room to breathe. And, and then also, you know, you wonder why girls, young women self doubt so much or get into these kinds of relationships with men. Well, it's because the underpinnings um, have promoted it basically and one ultimately needs to learn to trust herself and to be confident and happy about the choices they make even if they are self full on any given day. So keep that in mind to the moms and dads who are raising girls.